What is up, Buffalo Fanatics? Rico Zbot, Bitcoin Barkley. With the coolest shades I've seen anybody have on today. It's not too sunny, but it's bright enough. I'm just having is, a good time here. Is the look based on the Wall Street bats? That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from you. Wall Street bats. <laughs> I stay you away from like, Wall you Street bets. look like bets. the logo of the guy, you I know? stay away from Wall Street bets <laughs> or any crypto bets or <laughs> AMC, GameStop, or whatever happened. And for good reason. I didn't touch Dogecoin. I'm... Sticking to my fundamentals. I did all of those, oh, yeah. and I'm paying the price. <laughs> so, good for you. Well, listen, man, you. welcome back to Buffalo. Yeah. I mean, it's got to feel good to this be back great. seeing all the regular faces and so on and so forth. So, I mean, listen, I'm going to get right to it, man. Like, what is it that it feels like you're in a, in a, in a different supportive role? Um, and who knows how this is going to play out, really, honestly. But how is your role changing this season right now? I think I'm bringing back that familiarity that Josh has with me in our friendship and our relationship. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, being kind of a still a steady role in the QB room, in the offense, as a vet on the team, uh, bringing back that presence, uh, which is what Sean and, and, uh, and Bean kind of wanted. Um, they know I can play. Um, I am confident still in my ability to play if need be. Uh, so that's not an issue, and it's really just kind of putting all the pieces together, I feel like, this year to win championship, which is, which is always the goal. But um, I think as Josh has grown especially and kind of the rest of the offense has grown over the last couple of years, and that timing and that unity is there, uh, that's my goal is just be another piece of that unity and get everyone on the same page. That's awesome. You seem really stoked to be back here, and I think it's everybody else felt the same. What's the biggest difference between here and anywhere else, and what makes you get that feeling of excitement being back with the Bills? This is it's just a, a different vibe than – I mean, I've played over 10 cities now, yeah. right? And I even – I mean, I started my career in Philly, which is like, all right, this is nuts. Can't get any better than sure. this. Philly fans are on another level. But then I get here, and, I mean – Bills Mafia is, again, it's on another level, Different. but they treat you like family. Like, there's something about, <laughs> I don't want to bag on Philly, they're great fans, but it's like, you just, like, do one wrong thing, and it's like, you're that, you're getting beat <laughs> they get up, you. Yeah, and they you're, get you. you're yeah. got black eyes, and they're bruising you up, but uh, Buffalo, I feel like they, they love you no matter what. There's just, like, a family vibe here. There's a, just this community that is unlike anything else that I've experienced in the league. And so when we found out we were coming back here in free agency, I mean, my wife started crying. She was so excited wow, to come crazy. back just because of the friendship she made while she was here. I mean, my kids are excited. They remember all the memories they made, yeah. even though it was two years ago. Um, so, yeah, we're pumped to be back. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, you spent, you spent a season away. And it, how difficult was it to try not to pay attention to what the Bills are doing and focus on your team? But you, uh, you're creeping over saying, and you're seeing Bills everywhere. So how was difficult hard. was it to yeah. not cheer for them? Well, I played, so I was on three teams last year. Every team played the Bills. Oh my God. I don't know wow. if that's a record, but three <laughs> non-divisional games all played the Bills. Wow. Three different teams. Uh, it, was, it was wild just to see everyone on all those games. But, um, but then, the, yeah, to watch from afar, and I mean, that, that Chiefs game was heartbreaking. Uh, I don't want to revisit right. that, but that. just like – my heart was with them. Like, sure. even though I wasn't on a team, like, that's still how connected I felt. Uh, and so, again, but to be back, it's it's the best, absolute best. What is it? Because, I, you know, who else has a better view of Josh Allen on a day-to-day -day basis than you? What is it about him in <laughs> general? Who's showering with him. But oh, hey, -oh. Well, hey, hey. I, I wouldn't. <laughs> enough said, right? Enough said. When, you, uh, when, when you're out of the showers and you're, and you're taking snaps, what is it about his game? Because you, you know, you're going on a long time here now of playing football, so yeah. you've seen it all at this point. Yep. What is it about Josh's game that stands out to you where you say, I mean, man, that's just different? Well, he's a tremendous athlete. I think that speaks for himself, for itself. Uh, and he's such, a, he's such a gamer to where nothing can really throw him off. Mm. I mean, I, for the majority of my career, I've been kind of like a timing-style quarterback where – you're this yards on these steps, and I'm going to throw with anticipation. Ball meets receiver, boom. Right. He can make plays where things go awry. He's out of the pocket, timing's off, receivers are at different depths, and he just finds guys. Yeah. And it's one of the most incredible traits I've seen in quarterback plays, just his ability to make plays when things don't go as planned. Right. And you need to be able to extend plays both with his feet, with his arm, and I don't think there's anyone that does it better than him. Well, this is, this is great because it segues right into what I want to ask. So you spent a year away from the team. You're in three different cities. 
and you're talking so so well and so highly of Josh. What were the other players on your teams that you were on saying about him? Like, are they like, man, this guy's crazy? What was he like? Are they asking the same very questions we're asking? They didn't really know how to game plan against him. Love man, that. I mean, and they would ask me questions just because I was there, and I, I don't really know what to tell him. Like, I couldn't say much. I'm like, well, he's gonna find a way to beat it, and like in the <laughs> offense, there's so many options on every single play. It's like you can't really draw up a card versus single coverage because right. it's gonna look different. And so I'm, I didn't really know what to say. Uh, <laughs> they were kind of just scratching their heads. They're like, well, we got to contain him. Everyone's like, all right, well, how do, right. How do we contain him? Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, with all the other op- weapons they have on the offensive side of the ball, uh, it, w- it was tough for a lot of teams to game plan it. But um, I didn't yeah. – yeah, yeah. What else tough. can you say, right? <laughs> uh, there is nothing else to say. Something tells me you would have made a decent amount of coin uh, off the NIL back in the day. Oh, <laughs> Don't bring that up. Yeah, I need to hear your thoughts. This is just insane. The whole thing is an absolute zoo. I, mean, I am all about it. You are. I'm so all am for I. it. But, but what, what about it are you witnessing right now that will not work? There needs to be regulation in poaching players mm. and kids from high school. Because okay. I think once kids are in school, use your name and likeness, use your brand, your image to, to profit off of that. Yes. Which should have been a thing in in college forever damn right but when boosters are getting involved and it's pay to play and there's becoming like the power five schools where it's like nba teams getting together to form these super teams yeah because whoever has most money is getting the best players there's something that's just gonna create parity and i don't know if that's the right way to do it I don't know necessarily the answer of how to regulate that or control yeah. that, but uh, I think once you have committed somewhere, then you can start signing deals. The hard part is then, I guess, regulating, you know, communication between students and alum or players and alumni or businesses yeah. or, you know, you can't have any nonverbal agreements even or anything like that or a tampering period. I don't know how to work, but I'm all for players getting paid to capitalize. But, Absolutely. You know, Regulation. High schoolers now make yeah. making crazy deals, and that influences yeah. where they go to school. And then it's just like, oh, right, I'm going to bounce here to there. The transfer cool. portal is a whole other question, which crazy I don't agree with because well, kids are not facing competition; they're just bouncing on yes. any slightest chance where they they don't like their situation. Right. Like, oh, let me just go to this school, and I don't like that aspect. Well, I just think you, you know it's wild when you got Nick Saban pounding the table for parody. I mean, there's Tell nobody on earth who wants parody <laughs> less than that guy. So that's what. Yeah. Blows my mind. Exactly. But when you look at the situation overall, I'm in complete agreement with you just talking about the, the, the ability to, to get paid. But I'm hearing recently that there's quarterbacks that could potentially get $8 million Yeah, coming out. Are you're you, going into the NFL. You're taking, a, you're taking a heavy pay cut. Are you kidding I don't me? understand how you could Caleb possibly Williams sustain. is already up to seven, I think. Is he, he really? And he hasn't played it down at USC. It's, uh, I didn't so, think they were Don't even bring like up that. what I would have made. I mean, it's, it's hard to, to think about. Why, it, uh, Dan Patrick <laughs> asked Deion Sanders, and he said they would have had to name the stadium after him. Oh, so I'm just that. like, you know, Lincoln what? Riley, your thoughts on that too, by the way? Big fan. All Big right, fan. Cool. I think he's already done a lot of good things, brought a lot of top recruits. He's running the ship the right way, and there's a lot of hype around SC football, which there needs to be, I think, for the whole college football scene. And the fact that the college scene will be full again. Be nice. It's better for the I'm game. I'm happy. Be nice. It's better for the game. Uh, we don't want to keep you too long, but I got to ask you this. I mean, you're going you, – you went from having Dable as the OC, now Ken Dorsey. And not to compare philosophies, nothing to do with that. Personality. Yeah. What's the personality difference between the two? You have one that's a burly grizzly bear in Dable to Ken Dorsey. Yeah. Uh, we were told, don't be fooled with what you see. Well, what are your, what are oh, your thoughts on I that? don't know what you guys are seeing, but Dorsey is about as much of a firecracker as Dave's – is I mean <laughs> we have he, the wrong impression. We do have the wrong impression. Doris is not the most winningest NC two A quarterback of all time for no reason. <laughs> I like, you. Even in the off season st- competition, like the weight, the strength and conditioning things we've done, where we bring in coaches for this competition type stuff, he gets the most heated out of anyone, just competing against guys. Wow. And so it's almost. I think one of my jobs, going back to why I'm here, is to almost to kind of keep him regulated too. Really, <laughs> to keep <Thank> everyone <laughs> even, even keeled because he'll get fired up and so and want to. Yeah. Yes. You have two firecrackers and Josh two Allen and De- oh boy, I love that. Dor- going- Dor- Doris knows how to keep a level head. I think he just gets so amped up trying to to win and not only like barely win, like absolutely demolish anyone he's going up against, which is a great thing uh, for us as an offense. And so I think you know if we just 
keep the horse blinders on and stay I right here. So we'll be, we'll be yes, straight. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Exciting stuff. Thanks so much, Matt. By the way, lay off the weights, man. You're looking. Dude, this guy's jacked for sure. Absolutely massive. He's, yes. Save some for the rest of us. That, that dad strength. I now, love that. You know. Listen, man, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Bitcoin Barkley himself. Uh, joining us, man. He's yoked up and ready to go, and uh, he's going to try to keep Ken Dorsey you know I mean, at bay. At bay. And from so. the sounds of it, it's going to be a tough task, so best of <laughs> luck. Yeah. It'll be a good offense to watch, no doubt about that. Can't oh. wait. Thanks a lot, man. Go it's Bills. great to have you back, by the way. Thank you. Yes, Love to be back. It's going to be it. fun here. Yes, sir. Excellent. Appreciate it. Yeah.